Hello team players! You want to build a character that's half lawful outsider? Well today we're talking about the Aphrodite Versatile Heritage. Let's dive in. But first, a huge thank you to my very first channel member, Underhill. Join today for some amazing perks. So of course, as a Versatile Heritage, the Aphrodite Heritage can be taken over any heritage from any ancestry. Thus, you can be a normal Aphrodite, human Aphrodite, whatever. The heritage itself gives you low light vision or dark vision if your ancestry already had low light vision. You can also take the feats I'm about to cover in addition to those available to your ancestry. First up, for, for level 1 feats, we have your basic lore feat with axiomatic lore. This just gives you training in diplomacy and society as well as axis lore. Next up, we have Internal Cohesion. This allows you and your allies to specifically treat your wounds without needing healer's tool. In addition, once per day, when someone fails or critically fails a check to treat your wounds, you can increase the degree of success by one step. This one will be so much better if you could use it on your allies. But unfortunately, it only applies to treating your wounds. This is, however, good for tanks, because the longer the tank can stay up, the longer the party can stay up. Especially if we're talking about a holy champion. Which I assume, when Player Core 2 comes out, that's what they're going to call Good Aligned Champion. Next up, we've got another skill-related ancestry feat with Intuitive Crafting. You become trained in crafting and gain the Specialty Crafting skill feat, or specialization of your choice. So this is your metalworking, woodworking, alchemy, that type of thing. Getting auto training and crafting and a plus one to specific crafting checks is honestly pretty good for a level one ancestor. And lastly for level one, we've got Lemma of Vision. This is one is for all those Aphrodites out there that don't get dark vision from the heritage. For example, if you're something like a human aphorite or a halfling aphorite. Put simply, it gives you dark vision. That's it. However, what's interesting about this feat is that you do not have to take it at level 1. Unlike a lot of feats that give you dark vision. You don't even technically need low light vision to take this. I mean, you're going to at least have that from the Versal Heritage, but it is not required. So if you're finding, say, at level 5, that you need Dark Vision, and you're this versatile heritage, boom, just take this feat, and you've got it. With Crystalline Dust, for two actions, once per day, you can become concealed. However, your position is still obvious, so you can't use this concealment to hide or sneak. This concealment moves with you, and lasts for a number of rounds equal to half your level. So when you take this at level 5, it's going to last for 2 rounds. And even if you can't use this concealment to hide or sneak, concealment's still a very good effect, as it does make it harder for enemies to hit you. Honestly, Dazed is better, because that applies to all allies and not just you. But Conceal isn't used anywhere near enough and should be, especially for spellcasters and other ranged attackers. Also at level 5, we have Intercorporate. Once per day, for one action, if you are suffering from a disease or poison, you can immediately make another saving throw against that effect. If you fail this check, the stage doesn't increase, but you do take the effects of the stage you are already on. On a critical failure, the stage only increases by 1. Also, if you're taking persistent damage, you can immediately make a DC 10 flat check to stop that damage. And finally, for level 5, we have Offensive Analysis. This allows you to cast True Strike as a Divine Innate spell once a day. This one is fantastic for classes that you want to attack in melee or range that don't have great attack bonuses. If you really need to hit a certain attack, that's when you want to use this. Rogues especially can take advantage of this feat. For level 9, we'll start with Analyze Information. With this, you can cast Hypercognition as a Divine Innate spell once per day. This one action spell allows you to use up to 6 Recall Knowledge actions 
immediately. You can't use any special abilities that trigger off recall knowledge when you use this. However, just recall knowledge by itself is already a very good effect. This one is especially good out of combat, but can be useful in combat as well. And then with ancillary motes, you gain one more use per day of crystalline dust. And you can take this feat more than once, allowing you to have a maximum of four uses. Also for crystalline dust, we have crystalline cloud. When you use crystalline dust, you can spend an additional action to make it a cloud rather than just around you. Thus, you can make your allies concealed as well as yourself. The cloud is a 10 foot radius, so honestly, pretty good area. But this does have the concentrate trait, so no doing this while you're raging. And lastly, for level 9 feats, we have Preemptive Reconfiguration. As a reaction, if you would take bludgeoning, piercing, or slashing damage, you can gain resistance equal to your level against the triggering damage. Also, if you have Crystalline Dust, you can use this feat by expending one of those uses rather than it counting against your reactions per round. Keep in mind, I'm pretty sure that rules as intended, this only applies against the triggering attack. However, I could see how you could read this as it applies against the triggering attack and any future attacks. And the fact that you can use this reaction even if you've already used the reaction for that round by using your crystalline dust makes this even better. I would especially take this one if you're a class with low AC like a spellcaster. Okay, we got two more feats to cover for this heritage, and the first is Impose Order. You can use this reaction when you quickly fail a skill check or you suffer from something with the misfortune traits. If the effect was something with the misfortune trait, this reaction cancels it out. If it was a skill check, however, you essentially get the assurance feat with it, which allows you to instead take 10 plus your proficiency bonus, and no other bonuses or penalties. That means no ability score modifier, too. Of course, that also means if you're using something like athletics, then no multiple attack penalty. But remember, this only works if you critically fail the skill check, not if you just regularly fail. This, however, is a once-per-day thing, so keep that in mind. And finally, for level 17, we have... Channel the God Mind. For two actions once per day, you can give yourself for the next minute precise motion sense out to 60 feet, the ability to see invisible creatures, and the effects of a ninth level true scene. So for one minute, pretty much no matter how an enemy is trying to hide from you, you can see them. I don't think this is as good as the 19th level general feat true perception, because that's true seeing all the time. But this is good for classes that don't get legendary in perception, which is basically everyone except for rogues, rangers, and investigators. And those classes might still want to take this just because true seeing doesn't see through everything. The Aphrodite is one of my favorite heritages because it's so versatile. It's got feats for offense. It's got feats for defense. It's got feats for perception, and it's even got feats for recall knowledge. Not many full ancestries can say that, much less a versatile heritage. Any ancestry can take this and get some use out of it. Whether you're a barbarian, a wizard, or even an investigator. So if you're looking for a versatile heritage for your character, consider picking this one up. Remember that's a versatile heritage, which means you can take these feasts in addition to the ones from your ancestry. But what do you guys think of the Aphrodites? Please let me know down in the comments. And if you want a video on the new Geniekin options, you can check out this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and remember, teamwork is vital.